Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to see how to fire from our weapon. So there's a lot to cover because we have the uh, single fire, auto fire, burst fire. We're going to have our toggle fire so we can select between those uh, three firing modes. We're going to have our reload. We have our projectile that aim to the middle of our crosshair. We have also, if we have enough ammo to cover and the aiming logic of all of that. So it's going to take a while, so I'm going to split that in a couple of videos because otherwise it's going to get very confusing. So my intention to this video is just to kind of get everything ready and I'm going to do everything uh, in one shot. So I'm going to do the entire code even if everything is not created yet for us. So that way we're going to save a lot of back and forth. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create everything that we need to start. So the first thing that we need, well, we need a weapon to the hand of our character, right? So we're going to go to our viewport here and we need to access the skeleton mesh to add the weapon to this. So to create a socket. So if you click on your mesh here under viewport, you go to your skeleton mesh here and you can just click on the browse icon. And it's going to bring you to your skeleton. So go to your skeleton, search for N. And search for the right end so it should be this one right here so for me I already created this but you click on this and you add a socket and you're gonna name this socket a weapon socket like here so you can see that I already put the gun on it when you have the socket right there what you have to do is just add preview and select the assault rifle B and the guns gonna appear in the hand of your character now to make that a little bit easier to adjust if you go on preview animation, you can select iron sight, search for this, and take the idle iron sight here. So your character is going to take the position. And now you just have to adjust the weapon in the hand of your character. So just click on your socket and just move the weapon the way you want. And you'll be all set. So I'm just going to realign that right there. Uh, it's not perfect we can uh, play on that later on but for now it's just gonna be good so I'm gonna save that and exit so now we're gonna go back to our event graph and we're gonna find some empty space here and we're gonna do our uh, weapon logic so we're gonna create everything we need so you remember we did a fire I believe uh, earlier if not just go to edit project project setting and go to the input here and your action mapping make sure you have those one here so you can just add here on the plus do an action mapping name this exactly like me to follow along and you put the key that you want and you'll be all set and good to go so I'm gonna close that so now in the empty space so around here I'm gonna search for fire which is the key that I click to fire some weapons right so we need also one for burst fire so we're gonna create a custom event and this one I'm gonna call it burst fire I'm gonna zoom here I'm gonna create another one I'm gonna call auto fire I have to create a custom event first so create a custom event I'm gonna call that auto fire after this we I'm gonna need uh, I have auto fire I'm gonna need one for my toggle fire so I'm just gonna create another custom event and this one I'm gonna call it the toggle fire but actually forget about that just disregard and we can just call the the one that we created so the toggle fire that we created here in the uh, exit I mean here and the project setting so we can just take this one there we go so now we have our action for toggle fire ready for us we're gonna need our aim so we can just search for aim because we already created that even so we have our aim here now we're going to need our bullet direction that one we have to create it so we don't have it so we're going to create a custom event and we're going to call that 
bullet direction. Also, we're gonna need another custom event that we're gonna call. We're gonna call that uh, enough ammo. So I'm gonna call that enough ammo, and we're gonna put it right there. Uh, let me check my notes here. Just make sure we have everything. Oh, we need one for reload. So we're just gonna search for reload. I'm gonna take the action here for reload. So we have our reload here which is good so I do believe that we have everything for now which is good so now we can go back to our um, main code here just gonna compile and save that so now we just need to get some boolean and things like this get ready just in case uh, it's not there so we're gonna need aim ones we have this it's already created from earlier that's good so we're gonna go down here to our weapon so we're gonna check make sure that we have everything so you're gonna need one for is shooting so create a variable for is shooting and make sure it's a boolean we're gonna need one for is burst fire one for is full automatic for is reloading I do believe it's already there if you don't have it just create it and we're gonna need uh, an integer for burst to shot so we're gonna have to uh, Create one like this, and the burst two shot. We're gonna make the value to two here. So basically, what burst two shot will do for us in the future is that every time we click burst fire, if we want to fire three bullets, well, it's what this variable is gonna help us to do. The first bullet from this action here, and two other from this one. Right. If you want more, well, you can change the number here. So that's the only reason why I have that. So I'm just going to move that back to the weapon here. And I'm just going to compile and save. So from here now, we're going to need a few things. Uh, just to save some time, we can get those things from the first person template. So you can open a new project and create a first person template project. So I have one here already open. So we're gonna need a few things from there just to save some time so we don't spend uh, minutes and minutes just to create that from scratch. It's already there in the project, default for everyone. So we're just gonna take it from here. So in our blueprint rifle that you can find here on the first person blueprint, you have your rifle right here. We're just gonna copy this beautiful code here You can leave that out so we don't need that last part here just copy go back to your project and this will be our bullet direction All right so i'm going to go to the bullet direction and just paste that right there so i'm going to move that all the way i'm going to move the bullet direction and i'm just going to plug it right there so now i have a bullet direction so i'm going to move that up here just for now There we go. And I'm gonna change the color to to red. So there we go. So we're gonna just adjust this, gonna remove this. So if you compile, you're gonna get an error. It's normal because we have nothing uh, to put right here. So in that code that we just um, paste, we're gonna remove the skeleton mesh, and we're gonna take our own skeleton mesh that uh, we had at the beginning, right? so that we uh we need to add actually i forget to add that so you remember we did a socket to put the weapon in the hand of our character so now we're just going to do this so if you click add here you can get a skeleton mesh and i'm going to call that a weapon and i'm just going to put that under mesh here so on the weapon here just going to click on it go to parent I'm going to search for my weapon socket that I created earlier. Click on this. And now we can just add the uh, assault rifle that we did earlier. So it's right there. So actually, there's a little problem here, as you can see. So I'm going to click on the mesh here, add the skeleton mesh, call that weapon, 
now it's gonna work so I'm gonna use that again get our weapon socket now it's in the hand of our character it's great and get the assault rifle beam. boom it's right there so make sure before you create the uh, skeleton mesh that you have that under weapon right here right so it's right there and it's selected so I don't know why it's gone now oh it's because we have a problem in the uh, blueprint so go back to the blueprint now so we're gonna need we're gonna need um, something else from the first person template so we're gonna go back to the first person template what I need I want the projectile right I don't want to you know create all that code I know I know it's not very long but here yeah, at the same time I'm gonna show you how to migrate this to your other project so how to do that well in a first person character you can uh, click on uh, what you need so not here but here on the folder right click and do migrate we're gonna deselect those thing here at the bottom just because we don't need it and we just want the projectile so I'm just gonna uncheck those and just keep the projectile here I'm gonna click OK and it's gonna bring me to this um, this page here so there it's where you have your um, you need to go to get your project for your the project you're currently working on so for me it's in Windows 10 Unreal Project and third person series right there so and I click under content and I'm gonna put it right here I'm gonna select and now it's gonna put that to my current project so I'm gonna go back to my third person uh, project now back in it if I go if I look here in the uh, folder here you're gonna see that I have a first person and if I go there I have the assets from the first person uh, template so we're gonna use that so I'm gonna rename this I'm gonna call this uh, bullet be bullet impact underscore BP so now I have this so now we're gonna be able to modify this I'm gonna move that to up here because I want it up there and I have a projectile here so I can put that right in projectile so I'm gonna just drag and drop there and move it there now I'm just gonna click on content here and just fix up directory in the folder there we go so now go back there go to my projectile and I'm gonna open that now here we just have to do a little modification not too much just a little bit so we're gonna go on the top here we're gonna call even begin play and on the even begin play we're gonna take our particle system so we need a particle system so it's not there so we're gonna add it it's gonna take a few seconds so I'm gonna click add particle system and we have it now so we're gonna click on the particle system and just drag it right there we're gonna drag from that and we're just gonna search for in your actor when moving and uh, moving just plug it right there if I can do it here we go finally so here we just have to uh, modify just a little bit not too much so we have to change the number here for 0.5 and we're just gonna move that a little bit bigger I'm gonna move that destroy actor I'm gonna unconnect that so you can click out on your keyboard and just click on it. it's gonna unconnect so from there we're gonna just drag and we want to play a sound so let's do that so play a sound at location and the location will be what will our actor location so get actor location and which sound we want to play well me I want to play the rifle underscore impact and I think is surface so impact Right here so I'm gonna take this one I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger I need more space and now I want to spawn the bullet right so I'm just gonna 
from there and search for spawn actor from class actually no that's not this it's gonna be spawn actor no not actor either emitter i mean so the emitter at location and i'm gonna plug that right there so from that now the actor location we're just gonna plug that right here now we're all set for this so we just have to take an emitter here so if you click on it it's gonna be the first one right here so the assault rifle muzzle flash boom compile that and we're all good for that so if our bullet basically it's just the, the uh, code for our bullet and it's gonna do all this for us so even it right it's gonna simulate our physic and it's going to play the sound that we want to play at the location that we want and it's going to play that emitter so the particle system which is the muzzle flash that we have uh, that we're going to have on our weapon and after that it's going to destroy uh, the actor so we're good for that so we're going to go to projectile movement and we're just going to change that for 50,000 because the original speed is not fast enough. I'm gonna go down here to velocity and just put one. And I'm gonna compile that. And we're all good for that. So go to the viewport. It's look like this. Now we just have to click on our particle system and just add the particle system that we want. So the one that we want, it's the one with the assault rifle tracer. So we're gonna search for that. So I think it's this one here. There you go. So we're all good. Compile and save that. So you can close it up. So we don't need that anymore. So we're almost done here. So we just have to our project in spawn logic. We just have to select uh, basically what we want to spawn. Well, this time, you know, from here we want to spawn our bullet. So we're going to search for bullet. Going to take our bullet impact. And now we can compile and save so you get a problem here because here you have to put your um, skeleton mesh for your weapon so it's right here so we're gonna take our weapon and just plug it right there and we're gonna compile so now the projecting uh, the projectile logic uh, it's good for us so we're good with that so we can just move that right there so we have all of that so we have our firing right here we have our burst fire, auto fire, the toggle fire, and the aim action, plus those two here that was a bit far down. So we have enough ammo and reloading. So we're going to cover that in uh, the next few videos. So I'll catch you on the next one.